guys, I'm Aaron Hacker. I'm here with uh, Frequency City Sound talking about their new wedges that he just had built. Um, I've been in front of a lot of wedges, a lot of Meyer wedges, DMB wedges. I've done all kinds of shows with a lot of national bands, uh, produced tours for a lot of Christian artists, Newsboys, Crowder, Jordan Feliz, and worked with a lot of the big timers, Ringo Starr, things like that. And um, these wedges, I took a listen to them today. They're extremely, extremely loud and clear. Uh, they have a lot of headroom. When you double them up as a double wedge, they, um, the stereo imaging is great. Uh, you can do a double wedge at about a 30 degree angle and you still get the imaging direct on just like a, like a high Q wedge from L Acoustics. Um, extremely powerful, extremely durable. It's got some DSP in it that is very transparent. You can't tell when it's hitting the limiting but there's the limiting there. I can tell that they don't overdrive the low frequency driver. You're not, uh, you're not getting in the, the, the low end fart that you can get when you really put some stuff through it. So I'm very impressed with these wedges. And then Mike told me what they cost and I was extremely impressed. So I would give these guys a try if you guys are looking for a wedge. How would you compare them to some of the wedges like the Meyer and the L Acoustics and the wedges that are three grand, four grand? I would say if you put them head to head, you're gonna get the same volume output. Um, they, there's a little tonality difference, obviously, between you know these brands that spend millions of dollars on R and I'll tell you what, where they really shine is when you're looking to an entry level wedge like a, a Wood Turbo Sound Box or a uh, PRX 725, something like that. You know, um, a prosumer guitar center wedge. These things will kick the crap out of them. I mean, these things are really a pro level output for a guitar center price. And so I, I wouldn't hesitate to put these on stage at a Riverbend at a PNC Pavilion in front of a, a Rob Zombie, in front of a ZZ Top. These things hold up. Great, thank you, Aaron.